All right. You know, we got NASCAR in the area this weekend, and hopefully the rain will hold off so we can get the race in. But we decided to go out to the Speedway to find out the science behind tire pressure, which helps racers win races. Man, they don't move like this when I pull up for service. Four tires, a tank of gas, and even a clean windshield in less than 14 seconds. And they have to be fast. Even after 500 miles, races can still end in a photo finish. That's the difference between first and second. Their skill, of course, but also tire pressure. Heck, it's everything in how the car runs and how the car handles. You'll hear it on, you know, if you ever watch a NASCAR race, you know, they'll come in, they'll talk about the car's too tight or too loose. Well, they control that at half pound intervals at a time on the tires. We spoke with Steve Castor at Summit Racing in McDonough. He says crew chiefs have to take a lot into account in order to make the tire pressure just right. Well, they, you know, the ambient temperature, uh, your barometric pressure, uh, all those things play a factor, including the track temperature as well and how, how the tire is going to respond. Crews first have to fill the tires with nitrogen instead of air. That's because it gives them better control over how the tire pressure builds. As the tire heats up, the molecules inside the tire start moving faster and faster, increasing the tire pressure. So in order to get it just right, teams have to account for the weather and mathematically figure out what pressure to start with. Too little, the tires can tear off too much and they can explode. And the inside tires have to be calculated differently than the ones on the outside. For example, so they may run 30 pounds on the left-hand side and then 60 pounds on the right-hand side of the car uh, just for the handling because the cars always put more pressure on the right-hand side as it goes around the curves because they're always turning left. Drivers and crews call it the spring rate. It's what gives them the boost coming out of the turns. Meaning that they'll be able to go through the curves uh, better, the car's going to handle better, so when they come out of the curve, you know, they're going to be at a higher rate of speed. And of course, if you're heading out to the races this weekend, you know, if rain is on the track, those tires are kind of bald, so you'll be sliding around until you can't run the race. So Saturday, 50% chance of rain. Sunday, better. Only a 30% chance of rain in the morning, so Sunday could be the day that we get it in. We'll be back right after this.